Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Canadian Crypt and today I'm going to be reviewing the 2019 vampire film The Shed. But before I get into it, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and click the little bell below to keep up to date with new horror content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. The Shed was directed by Frank Sabatella and stars JJ Warren, Cody Costro, and Sophia Happenin. The film follows Stan, a 17-year-old boy with a criminal past who is the victim of daily bullying. Not only from the kids at school, but also from his abusive grandfather who ended up adopting him after the death of his parents. But Stan now faces a new struggle when a local hunter is turned into a vampire before proceeding to take shelter in the shed outside of his house. This leaves Stan scrambling to figure out a way to deal with the situation while still trying to keep it quiet. But things take a horrific turn when word gets out and people start to die. I actually had a lot of fun with this movie, it really doesn't hold back and there's action right from the beginning. There wasn't much for Dead Space and they kept a fairly consistent flow throughout the film. I also really dug the concept behind this one. I thought they did a really great job at building up the suspense, which is where a lot of modern horror films kind of fall flat. They did a good job at keeping me at the edge of my seat for a majority of the film. I was also surprised by how well acted it was. I thought they all sold their performances, which made them characters that you actually cared about. They just seemed real, whether it's between the ups and downs of Stan and Dahmer's friendship, or that awkward tension you sense between Stan and Roxy. I like how they add depth to the characters by giving them small backstories that kind of let you get to know them a little better. I think that's something that lacks in horror movies nowadays, so that was kind of nice to see. I thought they did a great job at telling the story through a wide variety of camera angles and lighting techniques. The practical effects and makeup was also really well executed, and the vampire design really gave me a Nosferatu Salem's Lot vibe which was a cool little nod to old school vampire flicks. They also did a great job with the gore effects, it wasn't too over the top, but I really enjoyed what they had. Alright, so what didn't I like about the film? Sadly, there were multiple moments throughout the movie that you kind of see coming a mile away, especially what happens after Dahmer discovers the shed. Dahmer, what's inside that shed? Get in. I also wish that they kept a little bit more mystery to the film instead of unveiling the vampire like right at the beginning of the movie. I think not knowing and making the audience use their imagination would make for a way more effective, way scarier film. There was something that bothered me, but it's a stupid complaint because if this was the case, we really wouldn't have a movie here. But in reality, why wouldn't he just burn down or destroy the shed the moment he discovered the vampire? Or even when the vampire kills his dog? But no, he lets multiple people die before he even considers letting light into the shed. Is this the best film in the world? Obviously not, there's definitely room for improvement. But at the end of the day, I thought it was a solid effort, and I'd probably give it about a 6.5 out of 10. And I would definitely recommend giving it a watch. What did you think of the shed? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Have you even seen it yet? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for checking out the review. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit that subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay scary.